Mean Karan and Team Presence de Nisoni Bab. The Western Ghats, also known as the Sahyadri, is a mountain range that stretches 1,600 kilometers. It traverses the states of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. The Western Ghats region is a biodiversity hotspot. It contains a large number of different species of flora and fauna, endemic fish fauna of 189 species. Deep in the heart of the Western Ghats, where crystal clear waters rush through rocky streams, a remarkable fish species called these rivers home, Sahedria denisoni. Under the sunshine, these magical creatures flaunt their green iridescent scales. Denizen's Barb is a price gem in the aquarium trade, admired for its striking red and black stripes. Its lesser-known cousin, Sahedria chalakudiensis, found from the Chalakudi River to Achenkovil in Kerala, is rarer in the hobby. A key difference? Chalakudiensis sports a distinct black blotch on its dorsal fin, a feature absent in Denisoni. In 1865, the British zoologist and naturalist Francis Talbot Day who served as an army surgeon and later became the Inspector General of Fisheries in India and Burma, described Pantias Denisoni from Kerala. Day was a pioneer ichthyologist, having described over 300 fish species. In 1999, Pantias Chalakudiensis was described by Dr. Rama Devi and Tobias. Then, in 2013, both species were reclassified into a new genus, Shayadriya, by Dr. Rajiv Raghavan, Sibi Philip Anwar Ali and Dr. Nilesh Dahanukar. In the aquarium, Denisoni barbs are peaceful schooling fish, thriving in pristine, clear water, just like their natural habitat, which you can see in this video. To keep them healthy, high filtration is essential. They accept a variety of foods, including pellets, frozen, or live food. While they can adapt to different conditions, they prefer cooler water, typically found in temperatures ranging from 24 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. In the wild, Denisoni barbs roam alongside other barbs of similar size. In this video, you can see the filament barb, which shares the same environment with them. Protecting these fish isn't just about bands, it's about responsible collection, habitat conservation, and ensuring that future generations can continue to marvel at these living jewels of the Western Ghats. Denisoni barbs are beautiful schooling fish, typically found in groups of six to seven. Sadly, they face threats from habitat loss, unregulated collection for the aquarium trade, and even abandoned fishing nets. These factors put pressure on their populations, making conservation efforts crucial to their survival. Next time you are thinking about getting a Denisoni barb for your aquarium, make sure to choose one that's captive bred. Not only does this support conservation efforts, but it also helps avoid the risk of parasites. Wild Denisoni barbs often struggle to adapt in captivity, sometimes even dying from shock because they're not accustomed to human presence in their natural habitat. Denizen barbs are medium-sized fish, typically growing to about 4.7 inches, 12 centimeters, in length. Denizen barbs are also known as Roseline sharks due to their distinctive red line and streamlined shape. They are listed as endangered on the IUCN red list due to habitat loss and overcollection for the aquarium trade. These fish are highly active and can leap out of the water, so a tightly fitting tank lid is essential. Despite their popularity, these species face an uncertain future. Wild populations have suffered due to overharvesting, habitat degradation, and declining water quality. The IUCN Red List classifies both as endangered. In 2021, India's Wildlife Protection Act placed Sahedria Denisoni under protection, banning wild collection and export. While conservationists celebrated, aquarists and native fish experts questioned the move. After all, successful captive breeding had already been established, so was a ban truly necessary? Eventually, the concerns were heard. In the next amendment of the Wildlife Protection Act, 
Sahedria denisoni was removed from the scheduled species list, allowing regulated trade to continue. Breeding denizen barbs in captivity is challenging and not commonly achieved. However, some key points include Conditioning – Feed the breeding group a high-protein diet, including live foods, for several weeks. Breeding tank – Set up a separate breeding tank with slightly acidic water and a temperature around 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 degrees Celsius. Provide plenty of hiding spots and fine-leaved plants. Spawning process – Little is known about their exact spawning behavior, but they likely scatter eggs among vegetation. Removing adults post-spawning is recommended to prevent egg predation. Hatching – Eggs typically hatch within 24 to 48 hours. Feed the fry infusoria or liquid fry food until they are large enough to consume baby brine shrimp. As aquarists and nature lovers, we have a role to play. Let's cherish, protect, and support conservation efforts, because every river, every fish, and every life matters. For more native fish documentaries, subscribe my channel. Thank you.